There's an on ramp close. I know it. I can feel it. <laughs> and you won't see that here. And now it's official, the green flag in the air here at Texas, but we do start under a green and yellow condition. The last time, drivers have to hold their positions on the racetrack. This basically gets us started, and we continue to work on drying the racetrack and pit road. Let's get an update from Dave Burns on Robbie Gordon's machine. When these guys get on the grid and their cars are all lined up, the crews and the crew chiefs continue to look at them carefully. They're eyeballing the other competitors to see what they're running in the way of tape on their grills and everything. Sometimes they notice something amiss with the car, and that's what happened with Robbie Gordon's team. They saw that the left rear tire had a three-quarter inch rivet in the left rear tire. That'll make your tire go flat. They pointed it out to a NASCAR official. They allowed them to change that left rear tire without penalty, which is the case when you touch your car before you go racing here in a lot of cases. So NASCAR let him do that. They change the left rear, and Robbie will start in his ninth place qualifying position. That's a good catch. That is a good catch, and I'm sure that those guys behind Robbie Gordon are happy that he was able to change that tire. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and some of those other fellows back there. Been an interesting week for Robbie Gordon. Fine $15,000 for the driver, $10,000 fine for his crew chief, 50 driver and owner points and put on probation until the end of uh, the 2006 calendar year for actions detrimental to the sport. That all coming from the roll bar padding incident last week at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. We offered Robbie a chance to discuss that with us, but uh, he declined here this weekend in Texas. We're under green and yellow, the laps counting here at the Texas Motor Speedway, waiting to get that yellow flag withdrawn. Then we'll go full bore racing on NBC. 